Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to Access Arabic. Today we continue our series in which we're learning how to recite the glorious Quran. We are still on the section of Noon Sukoon and Tanwi. So far we know that if we are reciting the glorious Quran and we come across a Noon Sukoon or Tanwi, we must look at the next letter. Four different rules can apply. So far we've covered three of them. We've covered Idgham, we've covered Ilfhar, and we've covered Ikhfa. So we know if we come across a Noon Sukoon or a Tanween, we must look at the next letter. If the next letter is one of the Yarmaloon letters, Ya, Ra, Lam, Meem, Waw, or Noon, we know we must do Idgham. We must merge the Tanween or the Noon Sukoon into the Ya, Ra, Lam, Meem, Waw, or Noon. We know if it is a ya, noon, meme or wow. This merging, this idram must be with gunna. And if it is ra or lam, it is without. We've also learnt if the noon sukun or tanwin is followed by one of the throat letters hamza, ha, ain, ha, ghain or kha, then we must do idhar. We must read the noon sukun or tanwin clearly. But if the letter after the noon sukun or tanwin is not one of the six yarmanun letters, or one of the six throat letters, we've learned that we must hide the noon, sukun, or tanween with ghunna for two harakat. And in this video, inshallah, we will learn a new rule called iqlab. Iqlab means to change. It's a very simple rule. If a noon, sukun, or a tanween is followed by a ba, then the noon, sukun, or the tanween will change into a meme, and it will be read with ghunna for two harakat. It's very simple. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it and have a look at how we apply it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa salat wa salam ala Rasulillah. So we are on this example. Man bakhila. Man bakhila. Okay. Man, man, man. We have noon sukun. So we must look at the next letter. Is it one of the yarmalun letters? No, it's not. Is it one of these six throat letters? No, it's not. It's a ba. So the noon will change into a meme and we will read it with ghunna for two harakat. Is, this is a very simple rule and you can't forget it because you will always see that the noon, sukun, or the tanuin will be written with a meme to remind you to change it into a meme. This rule is called iqlab. So we'll make a ghunna for two harakat. So it won't be read as man bakhila. It will be read as man bakhila. The noon changes into a meme and it's read with ghunna for two harakat. Man bakhila. Man bakhila. Man bakhila. Now we will look at the next example. Layun badanna. Layun, layun, mm -mm. We have a noon sukun here. It's followed by a ba. So we will change it into a meme. And that's why the letter literally has a meme on top of it. So it will be read as La yum badanna. La yum badanna. So we've changed that noon sukun here into a meme and we've read it with ghunna for two harakat la and of course we have a noon here with shadda and that's why we will read that as ghunna as we've already covered i'll attach a link somewhere in the corner of the screen just in case you need to revisit that and now we move on to the next example min ba'di min min okay noon sakin it's followed by a ba so we know that's iqlab we know that we must change the noon into a meme and it's already written there for us so it's ba'di. remember we do ghunna for two harakat so whenever there is a noon sukun or tanween followed by ba we change the noon sound into a meme and read with ghunna for two harakat ba'di. next we have min Bayin is sulbi. Okay, noon, sukun here, followed by ba, iqlab. Change it to a meme, ghunna for two harakat. Mim bayin is sulbi. 
Now let's look at the next example. La nasfa'an bin nasiyah. Okay. La nasfa'an. Here we have tanween. La nasfa'an. But it's followed by a ba. So instead of being la nasfa'an with a noon sound, the noon sound has been changed into a meme. La nasfa'am. So instead of an, instead of tanween, whenever tanween is followed by a ba, instead of making a an sound, it makes an am sound. Am, am. But of course, we have a ghunna for two harakat. So it is la nasfa am bin nasiyah. La nasfa am. La nasfa am. La nasfa am. La nasfa am. Put ghunna for two harakat. So la nasfa am bin nasiyah. And now we have the next example. Bi then be him. Okay, noon, sukun, followed by ba. So we know iqlab, change the noon into a meme and recite it with ghunna for two harakat. Bi them bi him. Okay, next example. Mutaharatin. Okay, tanween here. Mutahara. Mutaharatin. Tanween here. Followed by ba. Right. So it is iqlab. Instead of the tanween making an an sound, it will make an am sound because it changes into a meme and that's already been shown here that's why there's a meme already written for us Alhamdulillah, the Quran is easy to recite so that meme will be read with ghunna for yep, two harakat so it's mutahharatim bi aydi mutahharatim bi aydi so let's carry on. Mutahharatin bi aydi safaratin. Okay, safaratin. We have tanween here. Let's go back to our original process. We've got an, have we got a noon sukun or a tanween? Yes, we do. So let's take a look at the next letter. Is it one of the idgham letters? Is it one of the six yarmanun letters? No, it's not. Is it one of the six throat letters? Is it a hamza, ha, ayn, ha, ghayn, or kha? No, it's not. Is it a ba? No, it's not. It's a kaf. So that means we must hide it with ghunna for two harakat. We must hide the tanween sound with ghunna for two harakat. As we have covered in the previous video, which I've attached in case you need to revisit that. So it will be read as safarating. Safarating. Can you hear the ikhfa, the hiding with ghunna for two harakat? Safarotin kiro min. And now we have min, min, min. Once again, we have tanween. And the tanween is not followed by one of the six Yarmanun letters. It's not followed by one of the six throat letters. It is followed by a ba. So the tanween will make a meme sound. And just in case we were to ever forget, it's already been written as a meme for us. So it's Kira Mim Bararatin. The meme will be read with the Ghunna for two harakat. So now let's read this full sentence. Mutaharatim bi aidi safaratin kira mim bararatin. Mutaharatim bi aidi safaratin kira mim bararatin. So here we have iqlab, here we have ikhfa, and here we have iqlab again. Mutaharatim bi aidi safaratin kira mim bararatin. And with that, we'll end this lesson, inshallah. I hope you've taken benefit from it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share this with your friends and family. Share the gift of learning through the Quran with them. Inshallah, you will get reward, I will get reward, and they will get reward. Let's all share the rewards together. But with that, take care, and I'll see you on the other side, inshallah. Ma'asalaamah. Take care.